Welcome back to another episode of Stacia Expert Mode, where today we're finally done it. We're getting into some magic. That should be cool. Should be cool. Um, I was looking at some of the stuff we need, and I realized that I needed blood slates for something. Uh, Xnet cables, because uh, I was having more problems with those those refined pipes, and they weren't actually rendering, which was cool. It was a nice bug, and uh, lots of <laughs> lots of these error messages kept popping up. But uh, we need to get into blood magic. Uh, to do that, we need the soul snare, which needs mana infused string, which is is pretty simple. Just string in a mana pool, but uh, we don't we don't have any mana set up. So I just made some living rock because I misplaced my last stuff. Now I completed a couple of quests. Uh, what does a mana spreader take? Ooh. Well, looks like we're getting into astral sorcery. I probably should have looked at some of these quests a bit more. Um, but let's get into some of the stuff we can. Um, we are going to need a mana pool. And I guess we'll get... We'll start with two. I don't think we're going to need more than that for a start. Something like that. Uh, and then, I mean, we could make a... Well, actually, can we make a mana tablet? We have to do mechanical crafting. We need mana glass. Interesting. Which means we've got to get into some create, some rose quartz stuff. That's cool. That's cool. All right. Uh, can we make this? Yes. Um, I think we want a couple of these because we're going to want a, a wand. Oh, we want four. Mm, okay. There's that quest. A wand of the forest. Uh, we just need a couple of petals. I will settle for the closest mystical flower that I can find. I feel like that's too many. Oh no. Cool. Oh, that's what I need it for. Cool, we got ourselves a wand of the forest. Um, so we can get rid of that quest. Um, I would assume oh, we don't even have any of the mana generating flowers as a quest. That's okay, that's okay. A running altar, I don't think I need to make that just yet. And we need mana first anyway. Cool. Well, I mean, there's the standard kind of first first mana flower that you generally go for. And it's a really simple one, the Endo Flame. And hey, that's just brown mushroom petals, grey and red mushroom petals. Now we probably want a chest over here, actually. Or do I I've got some chests? Because I've just realized I don't have like a collection of all the different mystical flowers. And we are potentially going to need all sorts of random colors, so I'm going to have to go and get them. Oh, and I might make the, what's it called? The bag? So um, Britannia, there's like a flower sack thing. That thing. Oh, and that's pretty simple. Yeah, I'll whip up one of them and we'll uh, go collect flowers. Off camera. And the last one we're looking for. And the reason I'm showing you this is because I've just found something. Um, and I need to eat. But I did find something. And that was over in this direction. So there's a village that I don't think we've been to. I don't think we've been to. So there might be a waste under steel actually. Maybe. But this thing. Now, I'm assuming this is a mod, adding this. So I think it's time to, to, to see what it is. It looks kind of like a magic tower, right? Hmm. Cool, cool. Um, how do we get in? That's how we get in. Oh, hey. Tome of... Boots. Accepts boot enchantments. What? Accepts boot enchantments. What? So it's a book that can only accept enchantments from... Hey, that's kind of cool. You could like target what you're trying to get. Like if you wanted Feather Falling, surely this would, would help. Hey, no, this, is, this is pretty sweet. Oh, another one. Common affix tome. Can remove affixes, taking some of them as its own. The item must be common or weaker and will be destroyed. So is that how like this is a rare crown? 
and it's got like the bonus health and the bonus armor. Nice. Apotheosis. Oh, it's nighttime. It's the Tome of the Others. Seems miscellaneous enchantments. Nice. Tome of the Miners. Mining enchantments. Oh, so we'll be able to get like, ah, oh, I actually really do need another fortune for my, my pickaxes. Um, Tome of Weaponry. Guessing it's like sharpness. Man, these towers are awesome. Tome of Scrapping. Can remove enchantments, taking some of them as its own. We'll consume the item in the process. So you'd only get some of the enchantments? Hmm. Interesting. Just noticed that says trapped chest. How trapped? How trapped is the trapped chest? You know, I wouldn't mind grooming. I don't need books anymore, actually. Oh, <laughs> that's a trapped chest. Uh, let's grab this then. Well, that almost got me. I almost just opened that. Oh, okay, cool. Uncommon. Oh, item must be uncommon. Common. Ah, oh, so we need like a... Oh, hey, whoa. This item's enchantability is increased by 15. Iron chest plate of... Tenacity of latent magic. Four bonus hearts. Whoa, how much? Wait. That's actually really good. Man, we need to find some more of these towers. Hell infusion. Deals extra mag magic damage in the nether. Okay. Let me steal a piece. Ooh. Hey, a mending book. Nice. Soulbound. I mean, soulbound's actually handy. Sometimes. Oh, almost missed that. What's that book? That looks cool. A rare affix tome. Can remove... Item must be rare. So we could take... Wait. If we put it on this helm, to get like the bonus hearts, can we grab like the bonus hearts off this chest plate and put it on our nether, netherite chest plate? That'd be cool. We need to figure that out. And the enchantability thing. I don't know what that means, but that sounds like a good thing. Oh, and as somebody mentioned a couple of videos back, if you put your crafting station where the crafting core is, which is uh, in this gap, colossal chest core, um, now we can craft uh, using the colossal chest. So that's really handy. That's actually really handy. All right, so probably take rockets out of there. And a seed. Easy. And we'll probably make a few endo flames uh, because they're easy. Um, and then I realized, even once we've got these, we've got uh, no way of getting the mana out. Um, because um, we have to create a mana spreader, which needs illumination powder, which needs some astral sorcery. Now this isn't actually a very hard recipe, but we just need to go find an astral sorcery temple. And possibly make the Astral Sorcery Wand, which is the standard recipe. So that's cool. Easy. But yeah, we've got a bunch of Endo Flames. And if you've never used these before, these are pretty easy to understand. Um, compared to some of the other Mana Flowers. Chuck down uh, the flower. Chuck down something that burns. My Helm is going to pick it up. And actually, I don't know if that'll absorb it because there's no mana spreader for it to collect into. We're going to need to have the mana spreader, so I'll just make a few more of those endo flames because that's a pretty easy uh, mana. You know, I'll just chop down some trees for some some easy. Oh, oh dear. I'll, I'll clear that too. Yeah, bunch of logs for some easy burnable stuff. Uh, just made myself a machete so that I've got a cutting tool uh, because I've been meaning to wrap the hilt of these things. So this will increase the damage by 0.55, which is pretty good. Uh, reduce the speed very slightly. And it probably looks cool, though you can't really tell because it's um, enchanted, so it's all shiny. But yeah, I don't know what else you can wrap the handle with, but uh, I think just a little bit of leather will do for now. It'll probably look probably cooler on this axe, right? Yeah, kind of. But yeah. 
off to find one of those uh, astral sorcery temples, which I don't actually think I've seen yet. Well, this thing was ages away. Uh, we're here. Wait, no, we're here. So yeah, bit of a trip. I probably would... There's rats everywhere. Um, I probably really, really want to put a waystone here so I can get here quicker, but I didn't break one. So this should be easy enough. I've been stopping at uh, the smaller astral shrines that I found on the way. And um, just demolishing them and taking all their cool stuff. And I probably want to stop using that extractor because it breaks too much sometimes. Cool. So here we have the astral sorcery crystal. And a bunch of water I don't want to listen to. And I'm under the impression that we just put that there. He's going to get converted. Um, some semi-useful stuff in these chests sometimes. Yeah, we've got so many constellation papers. We've learned all the constellations we can at the moment. But they still don't stack. And yeah. This can be handy for crafting. Um, astral sorcery stuff. You can use it as a source of starlight. That's what I did in my last playthrough. So... Hmm, probably not going to do it this time though. We can eventually make some of these ourselves, but just waiting on this guy to convert. I mean, I might as well steal some of this marble, right? Ooh, why did we get... Oh, I must have registered that we've converted the table. Nice. Cool, and then we just grab this dude. Um, I guess we'll take him with us. Um, I probably want to break it with this pickaxe. Perfect. Nice. And uh, now I just have to head back to the base and we'll set up just a... I guess the start of our astral sorcery stuff. We're probably going to have to work on getting a... magical area set up too. Oh, there's another one over there. Nice. Just seeing if there's a nearby village where I can steal a waystone and some llamas. Alright, so we got this back. Um, I actually did find a waystone and I checked it back where the astral thing was. So we might actually go and use it because we got the astral wand and... Ooh, okay, it's not a, not a quest quest. Um, I think we... Maybe we didn't have the astral tome, but now we do. We'll pick this dude up. Let's get another quests, uh, but none of these have rewards. Um, we do have rock crystals somewhere. Um, hey, those aren't bad to make, actually. Uh, but what I'm really looking for is just I need to craft. Oh, I picked that up. Uh, I just need to craft illumination powder, which we got the stuff for, but I just don't have enough starlight here. Um, and instead of waiting for daytime. We are going to, using the waystone I put, oh, back here, if we come down here, actually, do we need a linking tool? We need a linking tool before, oh no, oh, that doesn't actually work. Okay, that doesn't work in this version. Uh, it works in 1.12. Um, although we might need a linking rod, maybe. Could we make a linking tool? No, 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 no. <laughs> nope, that's that's a little ways away. I guess we're waiting till night time. But we've got to build something. We've got to build something. We can't just leave leave our magic area like it is, which is like a chest, some some mana pools. Like this is just a nether portal sitting there. And we probably want to be like in the the ming mingling foresty bit. And maybe we even make use of some... Ooh. Hey, this wood might be cool for a magic building, actually. All right, now time. We've got some starlight power. And I might even have to... I might just have to wait for it to be uh, brighter, darker, more night time. More night time. I'm probably going to want some torches, actually. I know that the videos don't show up the best. Uh, we're not going to do that. 
And yeah, what about now? Almost. Almost. And yeah, I think I'm going to start the, the big build. <sighs> I know it's going to be a big project. It's going to look cool when it's done, I think. Well, I hope it's going to look cool when it's done. But it's loud. Hey, illumination powder. We could now craft a mana spreader if I had infused wood, which means we need starlight. Yeah, well, I think we need we need a base for this astral sorcery stuff. And hey, there's rock crystals over there. Um, we did already find some rock crystals when I was when I was out mining, just randomly. So yeah, I think it's time to start on this magic area. I've been talking about it for a while. Kind of got an idea, kind of don't. Um, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, this guy showed up, <laughs> still in the middle of terraforming, but uh, he no, come come here. He's selling Earth Piercer. Combined with two sticks and a crafting table, it will use as a head for a single headed tool and a workbench to craft a powerful mining tool. I think we want one of these. Earth Piercer. I mean, what, what is it? What is it? It sounds cool. I and mean, you're not going to craft another one, are you? Or sell another one. Come back, come back. No, and that's, we've already got one of them. So not sure what that's for. Earth piercer. This is a powerful mining tool. Ooh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hey, that's kind of cool. Nice. Uh, we'll look into that uh, later, but um, I'm going to carry on uh, <laughs> clearing out some more of this. Back to the time lapse. have it um yeah didn't exactly turn out how i'd pictured it uh, i was kind of working off kind of some other botanical garden thing that somebody else had made and it didn't really look 100 percent like this but uh i think it's okay i think it's okay i've also whipped up inside i need my faster running crossbow uh, inside we have got a couple of pure daisies set up should be able to put stuff all around them a um, couple over there. We got some mana pools there, so we'll set up some endo flames uh, in a bit. And that's really going to take up a lot of space in here, uh, especially with this astral sorcery uh, altar. And I'm hoping this should be fine. Like you can see the sky, so I should be able to craft the next tier thing, altar, which will be this dude, but we'll do that next episode because we need to get some liquid starlight which means we need to make ourselves a light well which that doesn't look too bad we do need rock crystals i think i've only got about four of them so i might pop might pop down over there where, the, where there was some but yeah i think this has turned out okay okay but yeah i was also planning on like having our enchanting here and our blood magic area over here so there's gonna have to be some expansion um I mean, we could build the blood magic like underneath, but I think it would be cooler to have it up here somewhere as well, um, so that we can kind of see. Like we've got this building, we look over here, we've got these other buildings. Yeah, yeah, I think it'll be okay. Um, still a bit of tidying up to do. The terrain's very, very basic. Um, that was not what I intended to do there because I've got water there. All right. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. It's a place to start putting magic stuff. So I think that's going to be cool. But hey, this is going to be enough for this episode. We'll come back next time. And uh, we're going to be carrying on. Uh, getting into a little bit of blood magic, which I'm going to set up somewhere. Somewhere in here, maybe. We'll find out. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode where we start the next project. Uh, uh, I've got no rockets. <laughs>